Good morning. <clears throat> Ms. Mack here. Um, happy Earth Day. Uh, today is Earth Day. Um, and this is something that has been very important in my family throughout the years. My mom was a fifth grade teacher and she loved selling selling, celebrating Earth Day with her students every year. They always did something huge. Um, they put on an Earth Day play one year. They made in colored uh, shirts one year. They um, grew plants, things like that. She just was very passionate about Earth Day. And so I am as well. So how does mindfulness relate to Earth Day? There are a couple of big ways it relates. Number one, a lot of times the things we are doing, we are not mindful of what we are doing. So for example, when you um, you take a walk, let's say you're walking home and all of a sudden you rise, you're a half a mile down the road and you haven't even really been looking around you. Um, let's say that you are taking a shower and the next thing you know you're done and you really weren't present in the shower you weren't thinking about the actual shower um you were thinking about so many other things that it was just over um that happens to us a lot where we just are going through the motions people say and not really thinking about what we're doing especially as adults when we're driving a lot of times we are just driving and not even thinking about what's happening around us so how does this relate to the earth well, we do things naturally that aren't good for the earth. Like we might let our trash fall on the floor. We might take a long shower without thinking twice about it. Um, let the water run when we're brushing our teeth. Like these are just things that we do naturally um, because we're not being mindful. We're not thinking, we're not in the moment. So mindfulness, the more we practice and the more we're, we're aware of what's going on around us, the more likely we are to do things to protect our earth. Um, there's just a lot of things that we do that we probably shouldn't do, like wasting food. A lot of times people don't even think when they eat. They're just eating and not thinking about it. And then they throw away leftover food. Um, so there's a lot of stuff, a lot of trash, a lot of things that we do without even thinking about it, that it's hurting our earth. The other thing, my favorite thing, about mindfulness is that mindfulness has us really experiencing the world. So for example, ever since I started practicing mindfulness, when I take a trip to the mountains, I make sure to do tons of mindfulness activities in the mountains on hikes so that I'm really experience everything. Uh, because a lot of times I could go to the mountains and do a hikes and stuff and kind of look around, but I'm not really feeling everything. I'm not feeling the dirt under my shoes. I'm not really just sitting and looking out at the cool landscape. Like I might for a couple seconds, but I'm not really taking it all in, especially the beach. I've noticed that like I can sit on the beach and not even really experience it. I know that's hard to make sense of, but ever since I started practicing mindfulness, I will sit outdoors and I will take minutes at a time where I just focus on listening to the air, feeling the ground, looking at what's around me. And I have just noticed that I've experienced the earth so much more. So <clears throat> your homework for today on Earth Day is to really be mindful of your experiences today. Um, when you are outside today, I really want you to take the time to think about what's going on around you. Look at the clouds, the trees, um, listen to the birds, just really experience um, the outside. Uh, so let's, let's just do a practice where we imagine we're outside. So go ahead and get in your mindful body. We'll do a quick one because I've talked a lot. Look down or close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out on your own. I want you to imagine that you are outside on the playground and pretend that you are alone. No one else is there. Think about where you are on the playground. and walk to a spot where there's grass. 
Feel the ground under your feet. Take a deep breath in and smell the fresh, cold air. Look up at the trees. Listen for birds, wind, dogs barking. Take a minute and lay down on the grass and really feel the grass and the ground beneath you. Grass and the ground are holding you up, soft and cushiony. Look up at the clouds, see what they form, see if birds are passing by, the trees up above. Slowly sit up, lightly open your eyes. All right, guys, really experience the world today. Happy Earth Day.